ヒップホップ What up? This is Martin again. Welcome back to another video. First of all, I wanted to say thanks to each and every one of you for the 10,000 subs. Reaching this really means a lot to me, and I hope to grow even more in the future. So keep sending me feedback, whether it's good or bad. So feel free to help me pushing this channel in the right way. To start off the video, I will answer some questions I got on my studio tour video. After that, it's time to show some random footage from the past months, like how I hurt my knee a while ago. I also mentioned in a previous video that I like to listen to reggae and dub records, and some people wanted to know more about this. So for those people, I have a track I made about uh, two years ago. It was basically my first time ever trying to make something in the style of reggae and dub, which is also why I named this episode Overdub. I almost used every single piece of gear I have in the making of this track, and it's also my first time working with real musicians instead of samples all the time. But now, let's get this episode started. So the question people ask me the most is, uh, how do I put my records on the wall? But basically, I just bought this thing here. I bought it on hhp.de, that's a German site where you can buy vinyl, clothing, uh, sneakers. So uh, this is just a row with five records. You only have to put two screws in on top, as you see there and there. And uh, I just put six next to each other, so you don't really see it. It's only one row each time. I put a link in the description, so you can buy it for yourself. I don't know if they ship to the United States, but you can always try. So this is my hair collection. I have two of the same James Last records. Those are actually two of the same, just different presses. Um, but yeah, I don't have that much hair records. I have like 10, I think. Just like to collect these because uh, they sometimes have awesome samples on there. Yeah, this is not hair, of course. People have also been asking me about these books I have on the shelf here. This one was the, the one they asked me about the most, this book about vinyl. It was written by Mike Evans, and this is like basically about the history of vinyl records. You know, a lot of uh, music is uh, in here. A lot of commercial music, like Marvin Gaye and stuff like that, the Beatles. There is also a part about hip hop, like Public Enemy and the Beastie Boys, EPMD. Then, what else do I got here? And I have this, this is pretty stupid for some people maybe. But it's a, a coloring book with MPCs and stuff like that. Sometimes I like to collect everything that has to do with beat making. You know, I have the, the SP is in here and uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, sample stuff in here. It's a, a nice thing to have. And this is my favorite book because it's uh, the history about drum machines. Uh, it has a lots of awesome pictures about the history of the, you know the older drum machines. But they also have a uh, other stuff in here, like uh, the Lindrum and stuff, or the Oberheim DMX, also a pretty nice machine. You know, it's a pretty interesting book, man. If you like uh, drum machines like me, the writer is Joe Mansfield, for those who want to buy the book. Maybe you can find it online somewhere, I don't know. after two hours of riding the bike. <laughs> so, uh, sweet. Yeah, yeah. Can I stop Disney?
They sent the message to a star cluster 25,000 light years away. It contained 1,679 binary digits that, 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 when decoded, created an image. The famous, the famous Arecibo message. So we went to visit this new record store near the house of Gillian. We also went there two weeks before this and I found a record but didn't bring it with me because I had my doubts about it being worth the buy. But when I got home and did some research about the record, I found out that it actually was filled with samples. So we went back two weeks later and Gillian and me searched every single crate in the store in the hopes to find the record again, but we just couldn't find it. So uh, another person probably has bought it and now has this killer record with lots of samples on it. But luckily I also found another record this day and it's also a good one, so it's all good in the end. Wow, 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 wow,